Gold prices are on for its worst performing month of the year so far after being stuck in a consolidation pattern for a few weeks. Is now the time to buy gold or is there more pain coming? For those who are new to this channel, my name is Connor and I'm the Senior Market Analyst at the company. Providing two daily videos on market analysis and educational content. This is the first video of August forecasts and I'm going to cover the gold market in detail. And to do this, I'll conduct a fundamental and technical analysis which will help you in your gold trading for the upcoming month. Enjoy. Okay, so let's talk about the Federal Reserve. First of all, uh, there was another meeting last night which really caused volatility in the market. It was at 7 p.m. GMT, um, but most of the volatility, has, as always, really comes from uh, the press conference at 7.30 p.m. And in this event, we saw the Federal Reserve announce another 75 basis point interest rate hike. Um, of course, this is to tame inflation, which isn't slowing down right now. It's the largest consecutive hike uh, since the 1980s um, and also this this just makes when we're talking about gold it makes holding non-interest um, bearing investments like gold less desirable and um, the Federal Reserve may be forced to continue now its aggressive nature if inflation still shows no sign of slowing down um, and so far this hasn't helped gold prices at all now looking towards um, a gold forecast for August of course it's important to talk about the US dollar uh, with gold being dollar denominated nothing really new here the dollar gained in July um, that's all to do with what I mentioned in the previous slide and the dollar is analyzed every single day in our discord channel um, so make sure you check those comments to join and it's, it's free of charge and at the time of recording this video the dollar is trading at around 106 and for me remains a buy the dip market unless there is evidence of the current outlook changing um, and I don't see that evidence yet now, looking at US Treasury yields in um, really such a concerning place right now, the 10-year yield lost ground throughout July and trades below 3%, and the two-year uh, two yield gained, in it, and I think it's now just below 3%, but it was above 3%. And what does this mean? Well, it's evidence of yield curve inversion. Um, the 2s and 10s yield curve inversion is now at its deepest point since 2000. And um, what happened next? The, the dot-com crash happened next. Um, which basically was the rise and fall of technology stocks. And why is it relevant now? Well, a every single recession in the past 40 years has been predicted by a yield curve inversion. And gold can act um, as a store of value um, in a time of recession. So as re recession fears increase further, can gold bounce back? And I think that's a really interesting debate. Um, but we didn't see that in July. Now looking at um, sort of the main outlook for gold in August it's at really critical levels um, on the chart right now which we're going to see in a minute and I do try to look for positives when it comes to the global economic outlook but for me it's deteriorating it doesn't look good right now um, unless there's evidence of a shift okay then so here we are on the gold chart now and as you can see these are the drawings from um, last month's forecast um, a lot going on here but just to quickly recap and um, we saw this descending pattern coming down and for me it was going to be a breakout either to the top side or the downside from this from this consolidation period i felt like something big was coming and that's exactly what happened um we actually broke to the downside as you can see from this pattern here and which is really really good if, if you got in we actually managed to um hit our level for um july which is down around this 1745 level in fact the market dipped below um, the 17 at uh, below the 17 level down towards his 1675 and this was a level where I thought we might see um, a bit of a reversal and that's exactly what we're seeing now so if I just remove all these drawings because this is old analysis and we want to analyze it from the um, with a fresh chart in front of us now there's just one play that just sticks out to me so clearly and it's this support level we have down here this is where we had, remember we had this massive slump back in August 2021 um, and then we fell into this double bottom that we, we created in March um, and then moved to the upside. This to me looks like where gold base is right now. So this is a really clear um, support level for me. If this support level was to hold, as if it holds, um, then I can see potentially a move up towards um, the next sort of resistance level. We have this imbalance in here. mark that for you 
uh, imbalance area. There we are. Uh, and then potentially move up towards sort of this order block we have in here. So we have the imbalance level and the order block level for me are probably um, the most important levels to look for any selling opportunities. Um, of course, if we do get the market potentially running down into this double bottom area, this, this um, August low and the two March lows, um, then again, this is for me a level where we could look to, to move up towards this imbalance area and potentially this order block level. So those two like that. Um, if you did manage to get in on a retest here, that then, then great, of course, if your trade's running um, over sort of one to one, then I'd always say to um, to move your stop loss to your entry level, always to be risk managed, um, because obviously the market can go against you, of course. Now, the most important, such a critical level for uh, August for me is, of course, this level down here. But it's if we break below, if we can get, a, if we got a break below this level, then this becomes for me mitigation. And if we get a break below, then for me, I'll be looking for um, potential areas to sell from around this level here, the 1670 to 1700 level. And where I think maybe we could go, um, what, what would be a good sort of um, support level from there would be something like this. Let me just get rid of these arrows. I'll be looking at um, the imbalance area down here. All the way back from March 2020 when we had this really uh, significant we can move that down and for me this is imbalance and potentially support levels to watch out for and it's all the way down at 1570 realistically we're not going to get down there but for me as you know I mark these and, and I keep the drawings there for the next month um, to see if we sort of make it a move towards it do I think the market's going to go down towards 1575 I doubt it, but it's going to be a bit of a bloodbath if we do break below um, this level we have here because it's one, two, three lots of support and it's three massive lots of liquidity. So it could just be um, a, a real straight run down towards the sort of 15s levels if we do get a break below here. Alternatively, um, I'll be looking for any opportunities in the imbalance area at 1775 as a level to look for and the order block up at 1835. So that's my outlook for gold. Um, that's where I see the market going. That's my two scenarios and what the market can do. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you've given it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel um, as well at the end of the month, um, week four of the month and week one of the month. This is when our monthly forecasts come out um, and it really does provide great value um, to everyone. Again, check those comments as well to join a free Discord channel. But other than that, um, I hope everyone has a great trading day and I'll catch you all for the next forecast video, which is going to be on oil and that's coming out tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you.